Hi, I'm sitting today with one of the funniest persons I know, a new spec. <laughs> At least agree I'm with sorry. me. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm sitting today with one of the funniest persons I know, Kanez Ya. Thirty. Can I say this one more time, please? <laughs> okay, thank you so much for coming, Kanez. I had a lot of fun. Thanks, Abey, for having me. I uh, had fun too. Sorry. Okay, I just one last time. I will get this right. Do you want? Uh, it's okay. We got this. We got this. We can I've, do this. We can this. do this. This is completely this. improvised, guys. This whole this interview is, this is the way completely it works. improvised. This is how it's supposed to be. Hi, I'm sitting today with one of the funniest persons I know. Her second special. Yeah. Her second special, Improv All Stars, has just released on Amazon Prime. How's it going, Kanis? I'm good, thank you. I really wanted to talk to you just about understanding improv. Yeah. Uh, what's the main difference between seeing a stand-up show and seeing an improv show on stage? So, uh, like, first of all, stand-up is like one person going up and doing a scripted piece of comedy. They've written, scripted, rehearsed it, and workshopped it, and then they perform those jokes on stage by themselves. Uh, improv is usually a group effort. There's uh, multiple players in a team uh, in an improv show, and they're, we're creating and building scenes that are made up on the spot. So nothing is rehearsed, nothing is scripted. There are like formats, but everything within those formats are just made up right then and there. How do you not get scared of going on stage? Well, that's the thing. It's like a lot of people ask me that question, and the thing is, there are rules and, and principles that you follow that really help you uh, like develop scenes and, and, and like help you do things that are on, like make up things that are on the spot. So like it's not as it's not just going on stage and just doing whatever. Like there are some rules and, and principles that we follow to kind of make it more approach. I mean, not approachable, but more understandable. What was the main difference between the last special you did and this one? So the last special we did, we um, the improvisers something from nothing uh, with the improvisers. We tried a format that um, is a little bit more advanced and it wasn't very structured. And I, like right now in India, people don't even know what improv is. Like we're all learning. Like we all we've seen whose line is it anyway. Right. Um, but apart from that, there's a lot more to improv than just whose line is it anyway. And there are a lot of different formats and and um, ways that you can do improv. And so we tried to do a more advanced format. Um, and this one that we've done now is, is we, I went back to the basics because I realized that people, we, we need to like grow with our audience. Right. We, like, and so I went back to the basics. It was a lot more structured. Uh, it had like, it was, you know, like there were five rounds and each te two teams and each team played a different game in each round. So it was easy to understand what was going to happen next without being like, what are they doing? How did they get there? How did they get there? I think one of the things that I notice is mm. for the first time when I'm seeing all these guys, they have such different personalities when they're doing stand-up, but when they're doing improv, it seems like a one homogenous unit working together. So how do you get these guys to like just drop their stage persona and just be like a collective unit on stage? Which is what improv is. Like one of the one of the things I sorry sorry so I do workshops and one of the main things I teach is this is this art form is not about you shining. Uh, what are the rules are like you try your job is to make everyone look yeah. good everyone else look good and if everybody is making everybody else look good everybody looks good and then it you know it comes across as one unit that you're watching one um, of the things that you had talked to me I, I remember when i was doing the workshop yeah you did was, the workshop yeah, yeah it was it was the principle of yes and in improv correct C could you talk a little about that so yes and is basically that's it's the it's the main principle of improv um, and it's basically when you're doing a scene you need to yes and because otherwise the scene doesn't go forward. So for instance, if I'm like, oh, mom, what are you doing in my room? And you're like, no, I'm not your mother. I'm the crazy lady from next door. Right. Then we have to start the scene again. So yes, and just helps things move forward. When you say yes, and then when you and, and you build on the scene, it goes forward. And when you say no, or when you say but, or yes, but, or no, but, then we kind of just had to start again. Right. Did you expect these guys to have such a different personality? Like I saw Biswa doing yeah. improv for the first time and he seems so different from how he is. So when, different, right? When he does stand up. So I think like improv does bring out that playful side in you and it does... <laughs> a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I think it makes you a nice person <laughs> <laughs> compared to stand up. But like because you have to look after other people and you have to yes and, it does bring out a more positive side in you. Now I feel like I'm preaching, <laughs> like now I'm like, follow, believe in improv, follow the religion of improv. No, but it does kind of bring out that side in you automatically. Um, and so I was really like, I was genuinely like impressed with what Biswa, like, wh like what he managed to do in the show, not managed to do, but the, the person, the kind of personality that came out in the show was, it was beautiful to watch that. Um, um, over all these years of doing improv, what have, what have been like some of your funniest stories uh, 
on stage? Like, have you had like times where you've really messed up, or have you had like times where you've yeah. just like gone outrageously? I remember we did this one scene, and this is what happens in improv. And someone, I, I think I came in as the maid, and the um, the person who was I forget who it was, but the, the other guy who was in the scene was like, "Oh, my betty," and I didn't hear that. He said it softly, and so then I started hitting on him. And it just became so awkward. It became like this incestuous scene. And then like halfway through, I realized, oh, he had called me Betty. And I was like, oh, now I'm hitting on my father. And like, it, it was just so awkward. I don't even remember how we got out of it. But would you yeah. still have to like go through the scene when kind that happens? Kind of. And the others come in to like just support. Kind, yeah, and then the others came in and tried to support. But it was really like, and yeah. then it was awkward because we're building on this really. Weird premise. So how do you cover up a joke if it doesn't work? I mean, like we did the scene and it ended, and I tried to pick up the energy through the hosting again. Uh, like we made a joke of like yeah. um, I don't know, I don't remember what the joke was, but we made some joke about, Im you know, bringing fam improv, bringing families together, or something like that. Like through all on. these years, do you now have characters that you build that you keep using again and again? I do. I don't think it's. It might not be the right thing, but I do. I know it's not. They're not like well fleshed out characters in particular. I know I tend to go towards old woman. Like I play an old woman, or I play a, like a young girl, <laughs> like a like a child, like a seven-year-old girl. Can you switch between these, like yeah. at will? Yeah. If right I ask now. You, yeah. Like if okay. I ask you, wait, can I ask you like an inane question? Can you answer it in? Okay. Okay. Um, and then you tell me when to switch. Okay, I'll tell you when to switch. Oh, I'm improvising. Okay. This is happening right now. It's happening. Um, oh God. Okay. Kanis, what is the true meaning of life? Ah, beta. I'm so glad you asked me. My chanda, my gudiya, raja. <laughs> You know the question, what is the question? What is the true meaning <laughs> the of life? The true meaning of life is, you must be happy. You must do what your heart tells you, when it tells you and why it tells you. Don't listen to the other people telling you how to be happy. Switch. Because like if you, and like I don't, like when I was born, I didn't know what happiness was, and now I know. Like happiness is playing, and when people say you can't play, I'm like I'm gonna play anyway. So then I play. That is super cool. That that was just really really cool. <laughs> and these are the only two characters Kani's, you'll ever see Kani's play in an improv scene. Three years ago, when you were doing workshops, um, yeah. and when specials didn't exist, yeah. did you in those times think that like in just under a decade you'd have not even a decade, like half a decade, you'll have. Two yeah. specials on night? No, I'm extremely grateful that I had this opportunity because I did not think, I didn't know what I was going to do with improv. And like when I was teaching, I just thought there would be like groups that would form and do live shows. And maybe in the distant future, we'd maybe do a version of Who's Line in India. Um, but I didn't think it would happen so soon. And um, yeah, I'm really grateful because people are getting to know what improv is. Like comedy in India is synonymous with stand up. When you say I'm a comedian, they automatically think you're a stand up comedian. And you could be a character actor like Malika Dua, you could be an improviser like me, you could be like a sketch artist uh, like, like Naveen. I mean, Naveen is what you also do, uh, stand up. But they also, you know, acting, comedic acting is also a, another form of comedy. Um, so it's not just stand up. So I'm really grateful for these, like these shows because it's also showing people um, that there are different kinds of comedy. Um, and, then, and then you start appreciating that person for that genre of comedy that they do. And when you see this on screen, do you think it translates? Like, I think sometimes when I'm in the room, when I'm yeah. doing, when I'm seeing an improv show live, I can actually feel the anticipation that I don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah. So do you think that translates well on screen? I didn't know if it would. Um, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't always translate. But for this show, luckily, it did. It did. Like I sat in the edit room and I was like, oh, I translated, thank God. But there's always that like, yeah. there's always that fear that it doesn't translate. That it's, it, And I think improv tends to be more of a live format. It works better in a live setting. But it did translate, like we figured out a format. I think the format was really important in the show. I figured out a format that allowed it to kind of uh, be very clear even for an audience watching on screen. Also very nostalgic, like you just Very nostalgic like... and because I think like nostalgia always brings out that, yeah. like it's back in your childhood, like, like we're playing games. Yeah. We're playing games on stage like we did when we were kids. I mean the early 90s and 80s and the packaging if you saw it was very full housey. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanted people to kind of feel like they're going back in time and remembering what it was like being a child again. What were your favorite moments from this show? I, there was this very, very random moment that happened when questions only, and I only know because I kept, I, I was on the edit the whole time, and this one part just kept making me laugh. But I think Rahul, 
uh, Adar was like, have you seen your quarterly reports? In the questions only, we can only ask questions. And Rahul said, have I not? <laughs> and he didn't realize what he had said and he didn't know if it was a question or not. And he just did this reaction where he was like, have I not? And he, he was just so chuffed with himself because he realized he, he played by the rules of the game. And that moment, just made, that, that one, of the, one of the moments I just laughed so much. Because it was a real improv moment where you could see he wasn't thinking. He just said something and, he, it, it, and, and hoped it worked. And then it did work and he was like, it worked. <laughs> like, uh, so that was one of my favorite moments. How many of, the, how many of the games that I see in the special have been made by you? So we all developed these games together, like we workshopped them. And uh, we, one of the games we came up with, there was a new game, was Baba Blues, which is, develop, which is kind of inspired from a game called Blues Bar, an existing improv game where people go to the bar and there's a barman there and then they sing their problems and then the barman gives them advice, in singing yeah. it back. But in the blues genre, in the genre of blues right. music. And so we developed that where we made a Baba who would give advice to a devotee and would sing in this... Uh, I obviously wanted like some kind of, uh, what's the kind of music we used? Uh, devotional music. Right. So I wanted, I wanted to create this game, like we created this game where there's a Baba giving a devotee advice, but singing to devotional music. Um, so that's one of the games we made up. We made Tinder Date. Tinder Date was actually, again, inspired from a game, which we actually saw, in the, if you watch the improvisers, um, something from nothing, there's a game where Abish and I play a two-headed uh, expert, and then Karan interviews us in a... In yeah, a, and then like in a talk show right. uh, like setting, so we tweak that game to make it a Tinder date. So it's the same thing. It's Rahul, Biswa, and Janvi are the date. They can speak one word at a time, mm -hmm. and it's the same format really, but it's a Tinder date. So he's asking them questions, and he's and they're answering in uh, as 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 one person. Jim but but they did before. it in such a funny way, man. It was great. It worked really well. Again, we didn't know if these games were going to work because we created them and in one month. But touch wood, they did. Is there a reason why you didn't improvise the show? The reason was like again, I like it was. I, and I learned from the last show that we needed a structure and we needed a host to kind of keep everything intact because sometimes improv can start derailing and going right. into place, and you need someone to bring it in. So I, I was like, I need to focus on making sure that the structure of the show works and 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 that these people can shine within the structure. So I took a role of like more of a, like an enabler than like. Improvising. improvising yourself. Yeah, and I'll, I'll get like if this, and, I, and I, was, I was like, if the show does well, I'll get lots of opportunities to improvise in the future. But we need to get people to like this genre of music, or like understand it at least, not music, comedy. comedy. Um, all right, thank you so much for coming, Kanis. I had a lot of fun. Do you want to? Do you want to tell the guys uh, who are watching this uh, anything? I mean, I want you. I want to tell them to watch my show. Please watch it on Amazon Prime Video. It's out now. It's streaming. And um, please don't watch it in groups. Each of you get your individual laptops out and watch it individually, so we get all those views. <laughs> Someone wrote to me saying, "My whole office watched it at one o'clock yesterday. We laughed so much. I was like, God damn it! Why didn't you all watch it individually? <laughs> we get like thirty different views. No, but uh, seriously, please catch it on Amazon Prime Video and um, let me know what you think by uh, messaging us on our on our social media handles. And uh, yeah, that's about it." Hi, if you like this video, please subscribe to Film Companion and share this video and like it and maybe put a like leave a comment. <laughs>